So welcome to springtime. That means Birkenstocks. That means flip-flops. What does science show about men's sandals? I'm gonna show you the latest and greatest science on men's sandals, and I'm gonna show you the best, the most cost-effective, the most supportive flip-flops and sandals for men. This isn't for the ladies, this is for the men. Separate video down here for the woman. And we're starting now. Boop. Disclaimer, we can't actually give advice online, so don't listen to anything we ever say. So every podiatrist, uh, their heart swells when they see a patient with flip-flops come in, complaining of severe foot, ankle, knee, hip, and lower back pain, asking what they can do to get better. This makes my heart melt because this is potentially the easiest and the most effective and happiest patient within about a week. So the reason for that is, what do studies show about flip-flops and sandals? The same things it shows about shoes. They have to be very patient specific. If you have knee and hip pain and foot pain, you ideally need some more support. So it is possible to make a custom orthotic and put it in a sandal, but let's get real. It's not practical, it's not happening. You want to buy a sandal that already has a built-in arch, and there's a lot of great brands out there. The studies clearly show, and it's obvious, it's very obvious, the studies show there's more foot pain and less support, and your muscles, your ankles, and your knees and your hips have to work harder. The barefoot running crowd out there, which follow the minimalist index, uh, which is a more flexible, a less supportive shoe, uh, your muscles, in your feet have to work harder. Your leg muscles have to work harder. But for most people, they don't need muscles and joints that work harder. They need support in their slippers because you wanna feel as good as it is in a shoe, but with more room and more breathability and more flexibility. So there are some great brands. I'm gonna go over my top five. So a sandal for every situation. I'm focusing on prices here, but these are my top sandals for men. So check the show notes, but I'm gonna start my top five list. This is one I personally own. It's not for everybody because you slip on, it's not as stable as other ones, but look at that arch, that is crazy. That's a lot of great support. I love this one because I slide right into it and it's got decent grip. I have a pool right next to my house, so when I take my kids, I wear that one. The rating, not crazy, 4.2 out of five is great. Not a ton of ratings, but I'm personally vouching for this one. Look at, look at that arch right there, I love that. Next is a brand that is pretty cost effective. These are usually like 20 bucks. That's a decent one. Not a huge arch, but a decent supportive one. I'm gonna put this here for people that can't tolerate much of an arch and don't have a ton of budget. Uh, usually for younger people, that's a pretty good one. Older people, you want a more stable one. Uh, look at, th that's Amazon's choice uh, right there. Uh, ton of reviews, 2200, 4.2 out of five, but we're moving on to some better ones. So these are for my older patients. The, this is more of a hiking one. Look at that, almost 1,500 ratings, 4.6 out of five. Uh, more of a leather material, more classy. You could wear it to your bocce ball games. Uh, not a huge arch, but a lot of cushion, a lot of stability. That's a pretty good shoe, a ton of great reviews. Uh, really good shoe, I like that one there. So next, moving on, we're getting into the more popular and uh, a little bit more cost-effective ones. So this is a little bit of a heavy-duty one, not as huge of an arch. So if you can't tolerate as much, you can get this one. This one's not my personal favorite, but it's on sale. It has a lot of great ratings. Look at that, 4.4 out of 5. Not my number one, but... Moving on to the classic, everybody loves this one. This is the number one bestseller, number one most trustworthy. Look at that, 4.5 out of five, almost 4,000 ratings. That's, in, that's crazy, look at that. So that's a pretty supportive one. This is what we call a maximalist uh, sandal because looking at the bottom, you have a rocker bottom. It's easier on ankle pain. It takes pressure off the front of the foot. Uh, not the biggest, most supportive heel arch. Then getting into probably what my favorite would be. I just hate this thing in the middle. If that middle thing, I don't like it. That's why I like this one. 
you know i like that front right there but if you're okay with that middle one between your toes this is a great choice look at that 4.3 out at, out of 5 2300 ratings uh look at that arch that's kind of like the spenko the very first one i showed you excellent overall shoe so which one would i pick I think number one, Spenko, but older people are gonna f fly out of this. A lot of people don't like the stitching on the inside, so let me see a good picture. Yeah, you can kind of see the stitching on the inside there. A lot of people don't like that. Uh, I never noticed it. This one is your cheap, easy option if you've never worn inserts before. This one is kind of for older, classier people that do more walking and need more stability. Uh, this one, I would kind of rate the worst, but has a lot of good ratings. Um, maybe that's an intro pair along with the Crocs. Ufos are classic. They're probably best for front of the foot pain. And then the Bionics, I love the brand in general, especially if, if you're uh, shopping for your wife at the same time. Uh, get uh, a pair of these Vionics. They have a lot of great ladies brands. But if this helped, check our woman's guide and also check our uh, shoe fitting guide, how to measure your foot at home so you don't order the wrong shoe size.